Hello everyone, it is Hershey here, and today I am going to be going over every single one of my favorite ways to get rare in Animal Jam, I guess. But before that begins, be sure to subscribe to me and like the video. I'm trying to hit 6k by the time summer comes around, so like a month, so if you want to help me out with that, that would be really cool. And I'm trying to hit like 80 likes on this video, so if we can hit that, that would also be very cool. Thank you, Kanye. And also, be sure to check the description. As always, I have links to everything like Twitch, Discord, my second channel, Instagram, all that. So be sure to check out all those, and I am gonna stop wasting your time now. Enjoy the video. Alright, the first tactic is one that I have already made a whole video on, and one that seems to be very popular now. That is the pet trading tactic. Ever since I made the video on it, it seems like I see someone doing it every single place I go. I'm not saying like I, I, I created it, but like, give me my money. But no, seriously, like, this one might actually be harder to do now because there's more competition. But either way, I'll explain what it is. So what you want to do is go to your trade list and put items in the range of a decent short to bad long. I normally found that this is the best tactic, but it might have changed now. I see most people having good longs on trade, but the problem with that is you're going to have a lot of people trading like minimum bugs and stuff for your good longs, or minimum bears and stuff for your good longs. So it's just harder to find a trade that will be a good deal. But you definitely could if you are if you want to be patient with it. Now what you do is you obviously do what I did here, just you can, you can raise the range from like a bad long to good long if you want to or just anything if you think that would work but basically you go around and say trade me a rare tag pet or bear each you can change it a little bit if you want to like you don't have to include bears and you can just change the wording but basically that's what i always did back when i did this and it was definitely i don't put this lightly the quickest way i ever used to get rare now i'm not totally sure if this would be as good now like i said because a lot of people do it but i still think it is definitely worth giving it a try and let me know your results in the comments if you do try it because that would be cool to hear and also knowing the worth of the pets that you're trading for is huge in this because you don't want to accept an under trade you basically just want to get profit trades from this like if you think you can get better than the pet or if you think you can get better for the pet that you're getting than what you're trading for it if that makes any sense which it probably doesn't. But if you basically think you can profit off of it, then do it. If you don't, then don't. All right, number two is definitely another interesting creative one. And that is to find a bunch of items that you think have potential to go up and list them on your jammer wall. Now a tip for finding items that uh, have potential to go up is go for low value items that haven't been in stores for a while and uh, that aren't like a seasonal item obviously like uh, Jamalade items with some exceptions there are some that don't come back but most of the time Jamalade items come back just seasonal items like that try to avoid those definitely and look more for items like wild weekend items or uh, just retired items in general that haven't been in stores for a long time that you think have a lot of potential to go up. Now, like I said, um, try to find items that are harder to find. Don't go for items like uncommons or something like that. Those aren't, those probably won't go up unless it's like a really hard one to find. Go for clothing items most of the time, for sure. I try to stick with items in the like clothing beta to like few den beta range because normally those have a lot of potential to go up. And yeah, once you find a lot of those items, put them on your jammer wall and go around saying like, jag me if you have any items on my jammer wall for trade. Or just something along those lines. That's what I do, that's what I've been doing for a while, and that's how I basically profited a ton. Like, I just found items that I thought would go up, and I was right, I think like 100% of the time. So, you have to know a little bit of worth with this one, and you have to have like a, you kind of have to have like a sense. I guess, for item worth. I don't know how to explain it, but like, you just kind of have to know what will go up. Oh, also I forgot to mention, uh, don't look for items that are in adventures, those never go up. Make sure they aren't in adventures, and make sure they aren't like a thing that actually returns to stores, and you should be good, I think, hopefully. Just use your judgment, okay? Okay. 
Alright, the last tactic is kind of like a two for one type beat. It's basically uh, knowing worth and shopping. So how knowing worth helps you is, well, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know what trades to take, you know um, what trades to do, you don't rip yourself off off obviously and it just overall helps you uh profit quite a bit and that ties into shopping big time so you don't miss anything you don't buy anything that's overpriced it really helps you out a lot and how i used to like get quote unquote rare was um going around and just basically uh invading people's dens and looking through their shops before they came there um that kind of weird but like that's what i always did that's what that's like how i always got clips for my shopping proofs was like just go to random people's dens and look through their shops whether they were advertising or not normally if someone's advertising a shop it'll already be cleaned out of all the big uh profits but if you go to someone who's shop is like it hasn't been checked like ever and nobody really goes to their den those are where you find the like really good deals like i found i don't know if i'll have the screenshots but if i do i'll post them or just put them here i found like clown hair for a diamond rare clown hair obviously rare myra balloon for a diamond just tons of things like throughout my shopping proofs videos if you want to see like how well it works go and go and watch those yeah shopping is another very good tactic that i don't do as much anymore just because it's a little time consuming and it takes a while but it might be the most effective out of all of these. I don't know, if you have a lot of time to spare, then do that. If you don't, then maybe go for the others. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like the video and subscribe. And comment what other types of videos you'd want to see, because Animal Jam is hard to make videos for, low-key. So if you have any that you'd want to see, definitely let me know. And if I use your idea, I will shout you out. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time. Goodbye. Guys.